right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to cold red um this is so early it is seven o'clock fuck it we're still doing this today okay um today i'm gonna be talking about how to start services on android application yeah how to start android services uh forgive me i look so tired today okay uh this was on demand for like forever people were like demanding it so i decided to stop some of what i'm doing to you know create that service background service and show you how it works all right now this is the main application no this is beautiful not the main okay let me go back to the main what about it okay yeah this is the main let me close up this let me close up all of this at the top all right all right goodbye goodbye thank you for your services all right okay back to the game now this is our main application i've already written the code beforehand now the only change i made here in the main.py is that i added this this file yeah start services now before you can start services you need to auto class your uh, java service code you don't need to create a java service code your builder will create that for you now before you can auto class it first you have to open your builder file and note down the you know now the package name and the package domain so it will be org.mindset.codred yeah org.mindset dot code red so whatever you name yours uh it will take up that name i'm gonna change this to please stop doing that yeah okay i'm gonna change this to code uh, red yeah code red no more application anymore okay so that is what you're going to reference here org dot mindset dot code red then whatever name you choose to give your service now this service you don't have to remove it do not name it um chicken code red or whatever code red the service must be in front then the name of your app or whatever you choose to now when you come to builder let me let me search for services now when you come to the users now list of service to declare you can declare as many services as you like so here i declared the code red which is the name at the back of these services yeah builder is going to actually add code red to the back of service it already has a template and if you put any other name there it will just concatenate all of them and when you want to run your code it will tell you file does not exist something like that or java class does not exist then you put your service of py code yeah which is which is here this is my service of py code so i think that's basically all you need to do now if your service of py code is in a folder you have to reference the folder before the service of py so that is it now you have your m activity m activity we will also class python activity to access the main activity of python activity yeah M activity is the same thing as Python activity, but uh, in a lower level to access a variable that will give you access to the main class. I think that's it. Yeah. And now you say service does start M activity plus an empty argument, anything you like to put there. So this service does start. I I don't know. I I, I sure this is what starts the service of py. You understand the point so your service code red is going to start with a context is it a context of a class i don't know with a context which is m activity and you have to add this this you are telling it where it will start so we are telling it to use the python main activity yeah python main activity which is this guy to start up the services i don't know maybe <laughs> So that's it. When you start it, it's done. Now, when you come to your service.py, service.py, you will do this. If you want your service.py, dot P 
py to be persistent that is if a user closes your app you want it to auto restart by itself then you have to reference this python service then you auto class uh rb.kv the android python service you understand the point now when you reference this use the m services that is the main services to set auto restart services to true so you have to set this to true before it can work then if you want your application to your service to keep running forever you have to put it in a while loop if you don't your service will just run once and close so you have to loop the entire thing so i'm doing this to just print services and then sleep for five seconds and still come back um so i'm going to put up my app because i've already compiled it and i will show you what is going on behind the scene so now when you want to start start your service you have to start it on the on start so you have to start it somewhere here now if if you okay if you don't start it on the on start method you either start it on the on the uh the build method or in it or at the top level here if you start it anywhere beyond the on start method it is not going to work yeah you need to put it on the on start method because in java there's what we call on create on start method in python is still bounded in the on create method in the java code so if it exists that on create method it will no longer work so now we are ready to pull up our app to see how this functions let me call my yeah oh no you should close okay now i'm going to say something like this now if you want to if you want to listen or log cut on your service code you do something like this code remember the name of your app the name you gave your service where is that view user whatever name you true you gave it here if you want to look for it you do something like this then we will look for our main python code um come on okay adb long log carrot minus s uh python All right now we start that we start this guy too okay what else let's pull our android screen just by okay man no guys uh there's been a lot of ditching and uh let me shut my mouth up because i'm about to say something most of you won't like okay um uh, well that's my phone it has a very low frame frame rate or frame fps yeah fps <laughs> okay now i'm gonna start that's the uh my application there so this is it this is the code red icon um so let's wait for it let's wait for it now i'm going to teach you something how to remove this black screen entirely how to make it disappear like boom. now our app is up and running now let's let's go back here um this is login for our python code and this should be login for our service code uh, i'm not sure whether this has started our services uh i think our services was not started um due to i put some kind of condition okay let's look at our code a platform because it was android um let me just okay guys i'm gonna pause this video and i will get back to you because i need to review my code all right guys i think there was no problem with my code just that <laughs> i logged it with a 
different information remember um linux is so case sensitive um i i use a small r small letter r here and while logging my code here i used capital letter r so we're going to switch back to this guy yeah okay we're going to switch back to this guy and don't mind whatever you're seeing on the screen right now um it's is that way with android always that way with android let me unplug my face and plug it back and make sure that okay we're still having that um i don't know how i've killed this entirely but well just let's assume you understand the whole thing let's assume the whole thing from here okay mm -hmm. Now, where is my where is my phone screen? Let me pull up my phone screen, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start up the application. Boom. Okay. Now this is starting the main Python activity. Uh, the main Python code that is main.py, and now you have to watch out for something. Mm. Okay, now it is starting the uh, the the what's it called the Python service. This is it, and now let's watch out here. It's going to be printing service running. Yeah, as you can see, it's doing that service running. Do it again. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let me show you guys service running. Now, when I uh, bring back this. When I close my app entirely, I say I minimize, right? And boom, take it off. Now, it will restart itself. Can you see that? It restarted itself again. It was up here now. It restarted itself entirely. Um, look, this has stopped running. The main Python activity has stopped running. And this is it. We have back to our screen. Uh, let's check no recent items can you see that it's totally empty our service is still running but there is one problem one problem is this we can't auto restart again when we boot when i reboot my phone it's not going to restart so i'll be talking about that on uh maybe other videos i still have plans to do that but not today so today i want you guys to eat this uh, service of py eat it all up ask your questions in case you don't understand anything and um so this is it guys watch subscribe and uh keep sharing guys please at nine percent of my users of no, of my of my viewers are not subscribed please guys just hit that subscribe button it's nothing much is is uh it takes nothing off your pocket you just just touch it you know it's, it's kind of like um it's window king or you know just yes like, like like touch it like touch it please um make that make that subscribe to be to be added uh you know to a pen d at the back i would love that okay guys play with this and um in the next video i will show you how to communicate between your service.py and the main python.py maybe you you are pulling some notification and you, you want something to happen on the main uh main.py file um i will still i will still show you how those two connect so guys see you on my next video